<laughs> all right tom tom told you all good morning this is coop number three all right for this coop it was originally built for mr frizzle the bantam cushion and any ladies we put in with him but uh it ended up being for tom tom and bad beaker this is tom tom he's an easter egger and bad beaker, beaker over there she's an easter egger too but she has a bad beak so you can see right here is the door and this door is you can fully walk in change their food and water and this is where we had an issue i had a little bantam potion here and she before we put the tent up she her first night in here she went to sleep right here in the corner on the little porch there and a coon come and pulled her head out and bit her head off or a possum and her body was still in there and she was gone and she was one of my favorites too <laughs> but i got some tin up here on top as to cover the food and then there's bad beaker hey now on this coop, we put some plywood right here. But if you look at this coop, this coop was what I got whenever I went to help a guy and they was re they was redoing redoing a house and it was a cabinet in the garage that they had taken down. Now you see, I got a little roost up for them. But here's the thing. I actually took two of the... Let me put my phone down real quick. All right. I actually took two of those cabinets and put them back to back. And you can see in here, it's... That's where they joined. Now, because the cushions are supposed to be in here, I cut half the shelf out that was in there so they and reinforced it so they could jump up there. And then I cut half the shelf off there so they could jump up here on top. Because Mr. Frizzle was in here originally and um, he can't fly because he is a frizzle so and then we cut the door out the back but this chicken coop was made out of two cabinets that come out of a garage so as y'all can see hold on one second as y'all can see you can make chicken coops out of anything and many different designs and i just walked through a spider web many different designs like i said there's chicken wire on top of this one no hog panel but there's chicken wire and there's supports now here's something else eventually there's zip ties here that's how we connected the bottom chicken wire to the top instead of using metal. Zip ties are quick and easy and everything. Sun will eventually eat them up where they break. And then all we got to do is replace them. You can see the zip ties there. So, that would be chicken coop. No, this is number four. I'm sorry. Chicken coop number four. One, two, three, four. And then we're working on the chicken cave. But I've showed you some of the stuff with... <laughs> hey, Tom Tom. And Bad Beaker. I've showed you some of the things with the chicken cave. I'll eventually show you more as I build it. See, she was born like that with a bad little beak. Poor girl. Poor baby. Poor baby, bad beaker. She is friendly. 
she would cause trouble and always try to, it's hard for her to eat though. She has to scoop from the top part of her beak. The top beak, not the bottom beak. But she would always, whenever we had her in with all the other ones, she would come and constantly be bugging you for food. And Tom Tom, we used to have him free ranging around here. But we figured for his safety that we better put him in a coop by himself or whatever. He was a little bit mean to the girls, but with her, he hasn't bothered her too much, I don't think. And she hasn't laid, and she should be laying, but I'm pretty sure it's because of her beak and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not no, I'm not no chicken expert, but it kind of getting there, but... Anyways, as you can see, a little bit of ing ingenuity and uh, things like that. You can build a chicken coop out of just, not just about anything, but you just gotta, you know, look around. You can actually see where the cabinets connect. But anyways, stay tuned for updates on the chicken cave. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. See you on the next video.